before all this time where our pals are meeting in the same space, and that's called our discussion space. Pal Georgette and Trish is here. And guess what, guys? The smiles are radiating from our hearts today because we're meeting in this place. And we are going to be discussing a very, very nice topic this evening. It is so nice and reassuring. And that's the topic. Let God vindicate you. Let God vindicate you. Yes. You're wondering that what that's all about? We're going to be talking about it right now. Pal, sit back and wait. Don't move. Don't say anything. Just Judge. let God vindicate you. How? How can we sit back and relax for that process to take place? Right. Well, one of the worst things that I believe that can happen to you mm -hmm. is when somebody says something about you that you know is not true. Um, about apart from it not being true, it's a blatant lie. Um, and they don't stop there. They tell as many persons as they can. And their aim is to destroy your reputation. Um, and the natural thing is to want to defend yourself. And especially like me as a lawyer and me, I just want to defend myself. Yeah. And I know I can defend myself. <laughs> I have the right word to tell them. Mm -hmm. And I have the evidence to support myself. And I know I can make a good case. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you need to just sit back. In, as a matter of fact, all times, we need to just sit back and allow the Lord to fight our battles for us because he says that he's our advocate. And it's an advocate is, is an attorney, but he's not just any advocate. Mm -hmm. He's one of those lawyers that when he get up and talk for you, when him sit back down, everybody in the court knows that your case is win already. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> right? Um, and it's something that I've always said to Trisha over the years, you know, don't explain yourself to anybody. Don't try to explain what the person is saying. Leave it alone. Everything will work out itself. People will come to know the truth and people will come and tell you that they know the truth. Mm -hmm. Um, it is always easy to say that when you are not in the picture, <laughs> when it's not happening to you. Mm -hmm. True. But you know, the last two weeks, I've had it happen to me twice in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. And from people who are extremely close to me. And it hurt bad. Yes. Yes. And uh, when people hurt you who you don't expect them to hurt you, Mm -hmm. It hurt even more. Yeah. True. But, you know, two things happened. I remember when the first incident happened, it was done by in a WhatsApp group. And I got two texts from two persons in the group. And it said, shut, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> keep your oh, mouth oh, shut. Oh, Don't oh, say a word. Oh, oh. And I really wanted to say several words. Oh, 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 oh. You know? But I kept remembering that I always had to say to Trisha that let the Lord vindicate you. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't say anything. And you know, I've watched that first situation resolve itself. And uh, I've watched the Lord vindicate me in no uncertain Amen. way. Hallelujah. And you know, what I have found. The lesson study that we've been doing is about our crucibles. Mm -hmm. And Satan's will Satan will attack us at our most vulnerable. Yes. So yes. Satan is going to use things that he knows matters to you. Mm -hmm. So for, for me, he knows my integrity matters. Mm -hmm. Um and so he's gone, he's not going to come at you at no thing when you're going to overlook. Mm -hmm. He's going to come and he's going to come good. Yeah. And that was exactly what Satan did. The, the lesson study today says that Satan was in heaven and he was put in second position. Mm -hmm. And he allowed covetousness, because mm -hmm. he was covetous, to 
make him feel that he should be in the first position higher than the God who made him. And he didn't just stop there with him bad mind self. What he did was to go and tell lies. Because you see, when God. people want to look good, they mm -hmm. have to tell lies on you so that you can look bad, so they can look better. And what Satan did in essence was to say to, to, the, to the angel, that one third that he deceived, he said, listen, this God is not as loving as we think he is. Mm -hmm. yeah. This God is giving us more than we can bear. This God wants to take everything for himself. This God don't treat us as good as he should treat us. No, if they, if, if an angel who knew all the glory of heaven and got all the privilege of heaven could have done something like that, what say mortals? What say people born and shaped in yeah, iniquity? Pity, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't be surprised when these things happen to us by ordinary people. Mm -hmm. And neither should we feel that it shouldn't happen to us because it happened to Jesus himself. Right. And he was able to bear it. And so the time is going to come when Jesus comes back that he will be vindicated and he promises to vindicate us mm -hmm. and so no matter what the situation you're going through no matter what people say about you mm -hmm. when they falsely accuse you be assured that he's already working on the case for you Amen, Amen, Amen Sister Trish there's a Bible scripture that says time and, and know see that the I salvation am of our God because there is nothing too hard for God to do and that includes standing up and fighting your battle for you Sister Trish Powell. that is so true and last quarter the lesson was so profound with this with this evening's program, um, mm -hmm. I remember one of the lessons was about um, when Jesus was being crucified, he could have spoken for himself and he could have defended himself, mm -hmm. but he did not. He stayed quiet and he stayed silent because he knew who was defending him. And um, Georgette spoke about two instances where, you know, people, somebody, um, you know, told a lie on her and stuff. And as she said, it's hard when it's somebody whom you're not expecting it from. You mm -hmm. feel it from down in your belly bottom. It, oh, yeah. it hurts. Mm -hmm. And it hurt more than pain. Because pain cool. But that feeling that you feel on the inside, it is hard. Yeah. And for me... Mm. All me want to cuss, you know, because mm. all me want to just tell people the truth and say, look here, and I say, go on, you know, mm. but mm. I am learning and last quarter's lesson has helped me to learn a lot. Uh, yeah. Even last week, I mean, learning about Lucifer and, you know, how perfect mm. he was made and, you know, he turned out to be, you know, the devil oneself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just shows me that. And in last week's lesson too, it told us that Satan is on us like clockwork because he wants us to be on his side like clockwork. Mm -hmm. So we have to be in touch with God like clockwork as well to stay grounded and to stay guarded and Amen. you know to try not to defend ourselves because sometimes mm -hmm. in defending ourselves it can be harmful to us it can be to our own detriment mm -hmm. so as georgette always say you know you don't have to defend yourself mm -hmm. because god himself will everything will show up and the truth has a way of coming out no matter yeah. what the truth has its own way of coming out. And I'm looking at this quote now and it says, try to manage your anger since people can't manage their stupidity. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes their purpose in, in, in wanting us to go down to their level and then when we go down to their level, it's their way to say, you see it? Mm -hmm. You see? She says she, she not, she, she's not who she says she is. Mm -hmm. And she go like she holy and she their church and, and look, she wicked, but it's hard. far from the truth yeah far from the truth so sometimes mm -hmm. it's best that we keep our mouth shut mm -hmm. and let the lord speak the truth for us or let the lord show things up for us mm -hmm. let things come around in its own timing 
Amen. There's a sound that I want to share with somebody out there today who is suffering the attack of someone who has been hurt by um, others, hurt their character. Psalm 59 is a tool that you need to have in your hand. Um, when somebody hurt you, that you didn't expect to hurt you, when somebody caused you harm that you didn't expect to, to cause you that harm, it hurt so bad. It, it hurt more than an enemy who comes and hurts you. That hurt, that pain. I know of people right now who is being eaten up by a shock of someone who hurt them, someone who claimed that they loved them, you know? And those hurt don't go away very easily. So yes, there are times when people hurt us and it doesn't just go away and it doesn't just wear off. If it does, it wasn't the, the, it wasn't the type of hurt that we're talking about this evening. Because some of those hurt, they last long, they eat like a cancer. They just go into every part of your being and eat out the sanity, your sanity eats it out to the point where you become so, 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 so hurt and pained. Just you the know thought what? of seeing that person dig that hammer deep sure. yesterday. And you know what is the most hurtfulest thing too? When you're into that hurt and that anger, it's, it's like it's forcing you to become somebody you're not. And then because you are forced to be somebody you're not, it's like you are so angry, you're so bitter, you're confused because you're, it's like you don't want to ever, you know, care for people again because this is what they do. Yeah. And it's hard when you're trying to be somebody who you're not. It, it mm -hmm. is definitely hard. I don't know for you guys, but it's not easy to try to transform into somebody you are not. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. And but, sometimes it's really people who cause that on us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you know, you have to be close to God to really want to turn back and let God fight your battle. You have to be in a relationship with God. For, to really want, um, to really let go yourself in his care and his protection. You know, the, the, the Bible says he will fight your battles for you. But there's something that's got to happen in order for you to see the fulfillment of that. You have to step back with your feelings and your emotions and give it to God. It's not easy. And let me tell you, it eats you out. That pain and that hurt that it caused, it eats you out. And not only that, sometimes it digs so deep into your emotion until it causes sickness. And the worst thing about it is when you see your enemy look like they're prospering. You see your enemy look like everything going for them good. When you know that they hurt you, it's not easy. But God can fight for you. Because the Bible says that he has engraven you upon the palms of his hands. And whatever you do is continually before him. And that includes your hurt and your pain. That, is in, that includes those who are trying to cut you down. Those who are trying to wipe you off. How? I know the time is running out. But what, what one word you can leave to someone who's going through that excruciating pain and cannot wait out the process of God's vindication? I want to share Isaiah 54 verse 17 with them. Mm -hmm. It says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Mm -hmm. um, you will silence every voice who is to accuse you. Mm -hmm. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, have spoken. Mm -hmm. So God has promised that when people try to hurt you, they will not succeed. Mm -hmm. And that every time they tell lies on you or you're accused falsely, that he will defend you. And that he says, 
that just by being a child of God, that's a benefit that he, it's almost like you have a lawyer on call. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have a retainer paid down for you. Ah, and you don't have to yeah. keep paying on it all the time. You just need to just make a phone call and say, lawyer, yes. XL, trouble me. XYZ, yes. Can you deal with it for me? Mm-hmm. And he says, by virtue of being a child of God, mm-hmm. your vindication is guaranteed. It's assured, yes. Really and he sure. says, I, the Lord, have spoken. Amen. That's a promise to us. Um, mm-hmm. And we must take God's promises lightly. Mm-hmm. I have proved him where this is concerned. Mm-hmm. I have proved him over and over again. I've seen persons who have come upon me and I have to turn around and pray for them and say, Lord, have mercy on mm-hmm. them when the Lord start to beat them. Mm-hmm. Right? Amen. So... I always tell persons, one of the wickedest things you can do is touch God's child or attempt to touch mm-hmm. a child that belongs to the Lord mm-hmm. to falsely accuse one of God's children, mm-hmm. right? And to try to hurt them when you know that they don't hurt you. Yeah. And one of the, the things the Bible speaks about is ungratefulness. It says ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. Mm-hmm. And what I find that the people who tend to accuse people and say all manners of evil against you are people mm-hmm. who you are kind to, right. are people who you help all the time. And it's because they know that other people know that you have been kind to them. Right. They know that judge is not so kind, you know. Mm-hmm. Judge is wicked. Mm-hmm. You know, think judge is nice in the CR. And every day she go like she nice, she know nice. So they mm-hmm. have to know, tell a story to right. make themselves look good because the normal person looking on on them goes, say, why are you saying that about George? Isn't mm-hmm. it George who wants to take care of you? It's mm-hmm. not George who mm-hmm. feed mm-hmm. you. It's not George who employ you. It's not George who take care of you. So how are you going to say that about George? And so that person now has to make up a story that yeah. makes Hello. George look bad. Mm-hmm. Now, if George knows that the story that he's being told is not true, mm-hmm. George don't need to defend anything. Mm-hmm. You, know, you don't need to open our mouth so you don't need to talk you know mm-hmm. because ultimately the truth as Trisha said will set us it's free the truth out, yeah. will come out and sometimes it's those very persons who speak badly about us God will have them publicly announce that they were wrong Amen. Amen. Right. so <laughs> a few years ago someone vindicated me um the 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 a lot it was very bad and the person said to me that i am um, me and my mother is like ananias and sapphire and then i pray for god kill me and like three weeks after that the person called me and said that they're in the hospital and if it's even the cheapest medication on the prescription, she asks me for feel fair because she can't afford it. And you know what I did? I filled the entire prescription. Hallelujah. I buy everything upon her, upon it in full. Amen. So as what Georgette said just Amen. now, you let the Lord fight your battles for you. Amen. And, you know, the truth will always set us free. She mm-hmm. said to me again, said she pray for God, put me with me there. And she have got, she got pray for God, take away everything from me. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. And those words alone killed me. It was oh, like yeah. a knife. Mm-hmm. But after the three weeks came and she herself, she didn't ask somebody to call me. She herself oh, called me and mm-hmm. asked me. I said, thank you, Jesus. We call George at the same time. Mm-hmm. And if she remember, but we call her at the same time and I told her. And she mm-hmm. said, buy them gear. And I did. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. if I mean, my one word to somebody who is going through, you know, um, lies and deceit from persons who you love is just to stand still and see the salvation of the lord mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. the lord never gives us more than what we can bear mm-hmm. and he promises to fight for us mm-hmm. and he promises to, to to fulfill all our desires mm-hmm. so why worry when we have somebody who already pay our law of legal fees for us mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and and it's just a phone call mm-hmm. let's trust god yeah the term the um, dogs going back to their own vomit refers to your kindness 
to that person, sending them back, you know, sending them back. Um, mm -hmm. I want to leave with someone this evening, this Bible scripture. Go and read it. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place, you continue to dwell in that secret place of the Most High God. Because once you dwell in there, He's protecting you. He's covering you. He's fighting for you. He's seeing things for you on your behalf. And He's carrying you. I know it's hard, but stick to that secret place. That secret place of prayer, that secret place of praise, that secret place of total surrender to God. And one of these days, you're going to live to see your enemy falling at your foot. Sister Pello. Yes. There's a scripture that I came across this week, and I want to also share it with you guys. It's um, mm -hmm. Psalm 56, verse 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. And it says that God takes note of our tears right. that we fall that, that falls from every tear mm -hmm. whether the tear is for joy or for sadness mm -hmm. and he takes note of who causes it and why it was caused and when it was caused mm -hmm. which means he cares about us and verse 9 goes to say that our enemies will retreat Amen. Amen. he will cause our enemies to retreat sometimes you see some of them back up and you wonder what happened somebody talk to them God will cause the enemy to reach Amen, 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 amen. We have shared with you straight from our hearts. We have shared thoughts with you from uh, what we think God would want to say to you this evening. So remember here at the Pope of Pal discussion space, we leave no stones unturned and we make Christ be the center of our discussion. So until we meet again, thank you for joining with us. And you're a part of this um, Powerpuff family. So share this video and let someone know that something good has been discussed in this place. So until we meet again, goodbye.